headed up to Soaring Eagle for the first time in 2024, and we're going to try to grind out some tier credits on Jacks or Better Video Poker. I like to do five to 10,000 points a trip. That gives me the comps I need uh, for all the free things I like to get from the casino. The tier status doesn't really matter much to me at Soaring Eagle. Um, but I usually get about $50 in free play, a free hotel room, $25 in food and concert tickets. 10,000 points would be $20,000 through the machine on video poker or $5,000 through the machine on slots. Uh, the slots pay back pretty good. They are my penny slots, pay probably between 93 and 95%. If you got kids, crack open the wallet and stay at the water park hotel. They have a bar and grill and an arcade right inside the water park. And they have a family style restaurant by the uh, hotel pool and steam room. It's about 200 bucks a night. Definitely worth it if you got kids and you can take the shuttle over to the casino. The water park also has bunk beds in some of the rooms. Those are kind of cool with the kids. Here over at the RV park, also a good spot for kids. They put a little bounce pad out in the water here for them. It's pretty sweet. Uh, if you're trying to get away from the casino and get out on the town, right down the road from the RV park is the Polecat. Probably one of the best golf courses in Michigan. Definitely top 10. Uh, you could also go to Mountain Town Brewery. It's a really nice spot. Good beer, good food. That's over down by CMU, kind of downtown Mount Pleasant. Pretty much a rookie move, checking in at check-in time. Soaring Eagle usually has a lot of people working the front desk though, so the wait usually isn't that long. I like to get uh, two nights, even if I'm only staying one. If I get them for free, that way I don't have to be out by checkout. I can sleep in if I'm up late gambling. And then sometimes if I'm not even spending the night, I'll get a room just so I could go back and relax and watch some TV, or put my coat and my keys up if I want. And look at that, there's a million people working and nobody in line. All right, one of the newer restaurants here, Ruth Chris Steak. It is really good. I was here a couple months ago. Food was fantastic. Service was amazing. Really good spot. All right, the rooms have a killer shower. The TV is definitely big enough. The worst part about Soaring Eagle Casino are these damn beds. They are awful. Firekeepers has the same problem. Terribly hard beds. Can't get any sleep. Uh, if you want a casino with some really good beds, go to um, Caesars Windsor, Windsor, Canada. That's very comfortable. I don't know how well you can see out there. They got a little pine knob type concert venue for the summer. It's probably my favorite thing to do in the summer is go to these concerts. All right, if you're not staying at the hotel but need to use the bathroom, these bathrooms over here by the hotel are brand new. It's super nice. It's kind of right past this coffee shop area and the kids' club. Coffee and ice cream with a patio in the summer. And then right around the corner is the kids' club. If you're coming for a concert or you're bringing your kids but you're not staying the night, uh, they got a nice little uh, arcade and daycare center in here. My kids absolutely love this place. Of course, it's very expensive. All right, probably where I eat the most is the little deli over here. Their pastrami is good. They also have a uh, prime rib sandwich that's just fire. And there's your gaming floor, gift shop, 
down there is the Players Club and we're heading down to the concert hall. Here's the gift giveaway this month. Crossing our fingers for the toaster. Saw Three Dog Night here uh, during COVID. They were amazing. Tried to see Tesla with Kid Rock. Ended up seeing Grand Funk Railroad. That was a good video because everybody complained that that wasn't the real Grand Funk Radio or uh, Railroad, so it got a million views. But this is the indoor spot for the concerts. It's pretty nice. I like to sit in like C2 or 3. The seats are pretty good everywhere though. All right, we got 60 in free play, $10 in food today. And we just picked up our little immersion blender. And I think we're gonna take a shuttle across the street to the slot palace, do some gambling over there to start. All right, been here about three minutes. Shuttle's already here. It looks like they're in the process of remodeling this slot palace. There's the bingo hall. And back there, there's a little grill. And I'm gonna head over to the bar. All right, 225 PBR today. All right, first game I'm on today, $20 in, $1.60 a bet. And we hit the bonus. 10 games, two times multiplier. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we got our money back. Eight player points, that means we've put $4 through the machine. Way there, nothing really won. Need some sevens. Oh, close. Ouch. All right, we're going to try 20 of our free play here in this red hot tamales. Thirty-five a bet. Close. All right, my second twenty in free play here. Last 20 into this bad boy. First spin, uh, that's pretty good. 25 bucks. All 
right, I turned my 60 in free play into about 55 bucks. Not bad. The triple sevens. Well, doubles are good, but triple is better. Scattered. even for the day all right this is why we're here let's start the grind all right we're about five PBRs in <laughs> and we're down quite a few but we could use the six to get us to even triple double dollar I've ever won on this machine. Alright, that's it. Stopping the bleeding. Here we go. Five play for the Royal Quarters. I just need one of them. We'll be back to even.
for each nine it owes me after that wild royal bust. Son of a biscuit on a cracker. Seven five bonus poker.
hopefully a little better than 0 for 25. Come on. Nope, 0 for 25. We got 5,500 points last night, but boy, did we get crushed. So I'm um, back this morning to get $20 in free play. It's a gift card. I always get the free play instead of the gift card. Here's the new food court. It's pretty sweet. I had that chicken last night. It was very good. The pizza looked good. It looked kind of like a Sabaro. Uh, Burritos didn't look that good, but you never know. I'm sure we'll try it. And then there's the sandwich shop. If you go right to the center of the casino is where the drink station is. I'm gonna grab me a coffee this morning. And there's three more restaurants here. This Legends Diner has got really good desserts. Breakfast is okay. Then there's a steakhouse here, it's very good. Then there's, uh, call it the Full Pay Bar, it's got the best video poker. That's bar two. And then they have a live poker room there. Live poker room um, is got food in it, so sandwiches, free sandwiches, salads, pizza, donuts for anybody playing live poker. And then I said the beds were the worst thing about Soaring Eagle. The second worst thing is this Ascend Sports Bar. The service is just awful there. Stay away from Ascend. All right, you can't use your free play on video poker, but it is pretty cool. You don't have to have any cash in the machine to use it.
getting crushed. I needed that one. It was rough for a minute, but it's starting to pick back up. Doing much better at sticking with my plan today. Not jacks are better, but uh, deuce is wild. I got 200 points, so that's $400 through the machine, and we're even.
I've been missing these holds, it's a good thing I decided to look it up. dirty. I haven't had a five of a kind yet. Finally got it. We were getting down to the nitty gritty there. Good switch over to Jacks are better there.
Well, I did about 700 points today. Only playing video poker besides my free play. And surprise, surprise, I'm up 100 bucks. I got crushed yesterday. I got to give away those slots. Million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later.